I'm gonna go back in time and revisit Computex 2023 where I did a boot coverage of Deep Cool, where you actually had the possibility to see one of these coolers, uh, actually eight of those. Uh, but today we have one of those and this is Deepcool's AK620 Digital. So what does it do and what does it have? We, well you already seen the review of AK620 before and today we're going to check out the digital version of it. Why is it called digital? Because it has a CPU indication temperature here right on top on the screen and it's going to be quite interesting. Now, Deepcool has started implementing these um, sensor panels on top of their cases, on top of their uh, CPU tower coolers, and honestly, I can't wait to see the future products, what they will do with these. But right here, we're going to talk about this one. So what's it all about? We have a sensor panel right here. Well, basically, it's a digital screen here on top of it, so you can actually see the CPU temperature right directly from it. And uh, we have loads of connections as well. And I would like to go through those immediately. So we have PWM for, for one fan. We have another PWM for another fan. We have USB 2.0 connection, logical, because you do need to connect that to your motherboard in terms of seeing the thermals on the CPU tower cooler. And of course we have the addressable RGB header and a splitter as well. So we basically have here five connections. And I have no doubt they managed to do something with the connections, so you don't have to use all of those. Now, checking the AK620 Digital right here, the only difference that I could see from a standard normal version without the digital screen and this one is that the fan in the middle is a bit lower down. And this is because of the screen, so yeah, there's that. But let's go into visuals. The front fan is in alignment with the digital screen cover. It has an LED strip running on the side here and on the other side. Well, basically, when you place it inside the case, on the bottom part and on the top part, uh, in between those and the heatsink and the middle fan, you have a uh, standard squares um, as uh, Deepcool has decided to change its approach and design. So yeah, very familiar design indeed. And it's completely black, so even the passive heat sinks are spray painted in black. When we're talking about some specs, quickly we're going to go through those. Full model name AK620 Digital, it supports uh, L Intel LGA 1700, well basically up to 1700, and of course AMD AM5 including AM4. The total weight is almost uh, 1.5 kilos. It has six pipes uh, with six millimeter diameter, fan dimensions are 120. 120 25 and the fan speed is from 500 to 1850 rpms the fan airflow is 68.99 cfm with 2.19 air pressure fan noise is i would say below 28 decibels we already covered the uh, connection part and that's basically it when we're talking about some specs that you need to know what does it give you? It gives you additional thermals of the CPU right here on the cooler. So you could just basically, I don't know, check out the cooler or your PC while doing something or just want to check out and get a regular update on the thermals if something is going wrong or something is happening. This is a good indication for everything in terms of that. But we're also going to run some benchmarks and going to test it out on AMD Ryzen 5 7600X, place it in a nice deep cool case and check out everything that is to know. Let's start with the installation and how to do it. If you're going with the AM5 motherboard, what you need to do is remove those four screws around the socket and remove those plastic bits that usually come in handy for other coolers. But for this scenario, we have a quite interesting uh, mounting mechanism. So you have four standoffs that go into those uh, threads that where you remove the plastic bits and those four screws. After that, you use two mounting plates that go one on top and one at the bottom, logically. And if you don't know which holes to use on the mounting plates, check out the user's manual uh, because there are varieties for different AMD sockets as well. So uh, after that, you go with four thumb screws to lock those plates in place. Uh, when you're done with that, place the thermal paste on your processor. But before you mount the AK620 digital, you have to remove first the front fan, then you have to remove the top 
panel part where you have the digital part of the CPU temperature and all the other stuff, uh, you have to remove the cable from the heatsink just to be placed perfectly and aligned for the fan. Uh, it goes inside a bit, so remove that part and remove the middle fan as well, because otherwise you can't remove the middle fan. Uh, after that, placing the CPU tower cooler, well, basically only the heatsink, on the CPU, pressing it down, locking the two screws with the screwdriver that is applied in the accessory box, and that's basically it. After that, you go with the same procedure as removing, you continue that, but in reverse, for placing everything back. So middle fan, top panel and the front fan. Try to align everything perfectly so it looks kind of nice and appealing uh, when we're talking about standard visuals. Now when we're talking about the application and everything here, you do have to install the uh, AK620 digital application. I think it's universal because when you click the right click at the bottom of the taskbar, kind of shows you all the devices, basically components, that have this kind of digital screen. So we have cases, we have the uh, CPU tower coolers, and uh, basically this way you can choose and adjust everything. The cool thing about the app is it doesn't run in full GUI, you don't have an uh, interface where it's shown like some other applications uh, on your desktop. It's literally placed in your taskbar, it's minimal load to your processor, you can adjust and choose basically which product you want to adjust, see what it is going to display, either temperature, utilization or both, so it's automatic, it constantly changes. So at some point, don't freak out when utilization shows and you're running a 100% load that it would be temperature, okay? I actually did that. I really just checked on the side. It was showing 100 but it was utilization, not uh, CPU temperature. Now, since, uh, of course, you have loads of other options as well, like settings uh, in terms of adjusting the language and support. Uh, but when we're talking about performance, let's check out this. So, AK620 Digital on AMD Ryzen 5 7600X in AIDA 64 Extreme Edition, CPU went up to 85 degrees Celsius. The clock speeds were actually quite varying compared to the other reviews that I did. So 5375 to 5425 MHz, which is outstanding for this processor, especially when we're talking about air cooling, because it kind of competes a bit with somewhere between 240, 360 eventually. But in Cinebench R23, we have a constant of 85 degrees Celsius. And the clock speeds actually go from 5250 to 5300. It eventually goes to 5275, but it kind of varies all, all, all around. Now, when we're talking about Cinebench scores, it starts at 14,306, goes to the lowest 14,214, and ends up at 14,312. What I would say is that the Cinebench scores are quite alright when we take into consideration that this is a CPU tower cooler. So compared to 240 and 360, of course, we're going to see a bit of, a, let's say, lower scores. But taking into consideration that top of the line 360 that I got scored 15,250, maximum 300s, and that some sort of an average for the AAO 360 was 14,800, these scores are quite all right, 500 Cinebench scores less than a 360, which is outstanding, of course. And uh, it's such a small margin between 240, 360 and a CPU tower cooler that it's outstanding. But as you can see, the thermals are on the front, you have a gloss panel, you have a subtle LED lines going on top at the bottom. And the cool thing about it is it has also a subtle deep cool logo as well. So it does show you the utilization. I didn't notice that at first because when I was checking the 100%, I was shocked. So it says temperature utilization and I don't know if it goes and shows the automatic uh, change. Uh, I think it only just switches temperature, shows the temperature, utilization shows the utilization and that's it. But if you're used to uh, the standard deep cool AK620 quality, when we're talking about performance, you can expect almost the same here, but you get a digital screen on front. So yeah, that's quite cool. And uh, it kind of fits uh, really nice with the CK560. This is the white version, but then again, the interior is completely black, so it kind of fits uh, just as it is. 
Guys, I'm really satisfied uh, again with Deep Cool products. I, I don't think I'll repeat that constantly in each video because what they're doing is constantly progressing with their products and that's outstanding. And adding the digital screen, it's all up to you if you like it or if you don't like it, you can always turn it off but just want the gloss part. But if you really want to check it out, I'll put the link in the description below for the Deep Cool AK620 digital in black version. You'll have it in white as well. So that's that. And finally, if you like the content and everything that you've seen so far, don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button, ring the bell for notifications for future videos, of course. And hopefully I'll see you guys in another one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.